know, when I look around at all the entrepreneurs who are grinding it out, spending 70 to 80 hours per week growing their business, you have to ask yourself the question, at what cost? Hi, my name is Tim Uchuk, and in this podcast, we're going to be exploring the tools, tactics, and strategies for crushing it and scaling your business without making the ultimate sacrifice of your time and freedom. Hey, what's up, everyone? Tim Uchuk here. It is a Wednesday at the time of this recording, and I am um, I put in a lot of mental uh, strategic work this morning. And uh, for those of you that listen to this podcast, um, the way I one of my little hacks there is to have give myself something to look forward to. And um, so today I'm I'm just heading out to one of my favorite uh, food trucks for lunch. That's my reward to create a positive feedback loop for putting in some hard mental work this morning and um, kind of training myself to to enjoy that that, uh, that grueling work. We we're doing some uh, kind of overhauling of our systems, um, some of our structures to uh, to just plug some holes and, and fix our operations, streamline things, so we're uh, able to to handle uh, more growth in one of our businesses. So. That's what I'm doing. Thought I would jump on here um, in the spirit of, you know, improving your average days in the spirit of of helping you to move the needle. I I wanted to share um, a a framework with you that I think will will help you to to have effective days like like I'm trying to have on my Wednesdays. Um, And so first, I I just want to start by talking about um, the concept of time and, and how we can use our calendar to, to set up guardrails and, um, and structure uh, so that you can, you can shift from, from being reactive to proactive throughout your days and your weeks. Because the worst feeling in the world is, especially as an entrepreneur, you know, there's, there's just so much coming at us every day, right, is to feel out of control. And the, and the first thing that you can do to get control back is, is to do it through your calendar. Uh, and so one of the first things that we do in our, in our program, our Perfect Week program, is we look at your, at your calendar and, and we look at your, all the recurring stuff uh, within your business and within your life, all the recurring stuff, and we get it in there. We just lock it in, um, starting with sleep. We engineer sleep um, based on giving yourself at least eight hours you know, people like Elon Musk, the, a lot of the um, the go-getters out there are um, Benjamin Franklin, another one who, who used to take naps uh, famously in, in the afternoon. Um, so sleep is so, so important. So that's where we start and put it into your calendar. And so you can look at it and get that little reminder, almost like a mini contract every day. And whether you're a morning person or a, or a night owl, we want to engineer so that you're getting at least eight hours. So if you're, uh, if you're a morning person, that means you're going to have to go to bed a little bit earlier. If you're a night owl, it means you're going to have to sleep in a little bit and adjust things accordingly. So put that stuff in um, seven days a week, lock it into your calendar. Um, exercise, lock it into your calendar. Is it going to be seven days a week? Is it going to be three days a week? Lock it into your calendar. And, and what we want to do is create the default um, or the rule, and of course, as life comes at us, there are exceptions, and we don't want to we don't want to go to that spectrum where we're completely, you know, OCD about it, and we feel guilty because we didn't get it done. What we're doing is we're setting in place rules, knowing that life sometimes happens. There are exceptions to the rules, but we want our rule to be to be this. We want our default mode to be this. Um, and so. The other thing that I think is really beneficial, it, it's been a huge win for me, is to front load all of my um, operational meetings with my teams on Mondays and Tuesdays. So a lot of that um, grueling kind of teamwork, strategic work happens Monday, Tuesdays, and then on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I leave uh, as much white space as possible uh, to do some of the, the heavy lifting strategic stuff. And so Wednesday, you know, my, my Wednesdays, again, are they're my gifts for my difficult Mondays and Tuesdays. And and that's kind of the, the structure that I recommend um, in order to start making that transition from reactive to proactive. Um, and then when it comes to engineering like your, your perfect average day, and, and I want to say average because your perfect day, you might, 
you might say, you know, you're in you're in Vegas, uh, you know, poolside. That's not your average day, right? So we want to talk about your average day where, you know, you're you're maybe having breakfast with your kids. You get some quiet time with your significant other in the evenings. You know, maybe you've got a, a, a date night once a week. You make time for gratitude, uh, you know, maybe prayer, journaling, reflection, engineering that in because if, if we don't do it, then um, and we're we're reactive then the the noise of the day is always going to overtake our best intentions of getting this important stuff done right so locking that stuff into your calendar thinking through um, what is what is like the perfect average week look like and, and literally put that in if it's if it's date night with one of your kids you know once a month put it in your calendar once a month so we want to kind of start there and then when we when we look at dissecting the average day there's there's kind of um i want you to think about an an upside down triangle an upside down triangle and at the top of that triangle i want you to think of you know having that conversation with yourself 20 25 years into the future all of those things that you value having those in place so that you can picture yourself you're you're looking around at your life 25 years into the future and you're looking back and and you're reflecting on all the things that you are, are proud of and the, and the legacy, that wake behind you that you've, that you've left, what you've accomplished. And, you know, if as a human being, it's, it's not going to be just money related. It's going to be the experiences you've accumulated. It's going to be the, you know, how, how healthy you are and how, how you have um, exemplified that health through the last 20, 25 years, right? It's going to be these, these big, um, these big achievements tied to your values, right? You had an, an amazing, you gave your kids an amazing childhood. You guys traveled, you spent tons of quality time together. You went on so many walks, um, you know, family dinners. You have so many of these experiences accumulated. That's, that's 25 years from now. And that's that big, broad top of the triangle, all the things that you want to, that you want to accomplish. And now we we go to the bottom of the triangle and we um it's like if you've ever seen the diagram of the uh of the lens and uh you, you've got that focus where it comes down to a point uh in terms of how your 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 lens your eye receives uh, input right it, it comes from abroad you're looking at um a picture of the environment in front of you and and it focuses at your lens right it uh, it narrows that that picture for you to to be able to take it in so that's what we're um, envisioning here is um, we're looking at the landscape of your life and we're focusing it down to a point. And that point is your today. Today determines the average uh, tomorrows of your life, right? Today determines the tomorrows of your life. So what I'm talking about is, you know, if, um, if, if tomorrow and, and that big picture doesn't really exist, it's, it's going to be your future tomorrow, like um, many years down the road. Then all you can do to control that um, is to engineer and perfect and and work on your perfect average day. And to do that, and I did this uh, today, by the way. So I am I'm going to grab some lunch, and I've got two more big items that uh, if I knock those off today, I mean this is I can look back and reflect and say, holy smokes, did we ever move the needle today? And uh, the two things, rather than uh, let chance creep in and rather than have the best of intentions that I'm going to get them done, I literally went into my calendar. Um, it's on my Trello board as, as, there as, uh, as tasks. Went into my calendar and I said, okay, how much time do I need to accomplish these two things? One of them I need an hour and a half um, and the other I need an hour. So I'm being very realistic rather than, um, you know, just hoping that I'll get them done this afternoon. I'm, I'm thinking through how much time do I need to allocate to get them done? And I went into my calendar and I uh, created a little mini contract, an event for myself so that in an hour from now, after I've had lunch, I'm going to jump in, work for an hour and a half on, on this one thing, turn off all the distractions, turn off my phone and put my head down, get into the deep work um, spirit and mode and, and get that done and then I'm going to move into the next thing for an hour and my my next reward or milestone um, this evening 
will be to uh, we're going to cook a nice dinner and and look back and and enjoy just accomplishing a fantastic average day. So um, to wrap it up, what we talked about in this episode uh, were a bit of a rant, I know, but we talked about the importance of um, setting up guardrails in your calendar so that you can engineer your, your perfect average day. And then we talked about um, taking a look at your your big future 20, 25 years down the road um, by picturing a, an upside down triangle where all of the things that you want to accomplish on the top of that triangle, um, they focus down to a point and that point is your, your average day, which is today. And we want to engineer your av- perfect average day by taking into account not just your business, but taking into account your um, the every aspect of your life your health your family your relationships your community your your spiritual all of those things that are important to you um, how can we get those into your perfect average day Um, so i hope that's helpful i am at uh, my food truck here i'm gonna grab some lunch and uh, i look forward to uh, catching up with you guys soon Hey, Tim Uchuk here, and real quick, if you enjoyed this podcast episode, if you could take a couple quick seconds to give it a rating, it would be very much appreciated. And secondly, if you're looking for more tools and strategies on how you can crush it in life and business, just head on over to bookwithtim.com, where I've put together a free case study which shows you how to unlock unprecedented freedom today by using the two power levers. Just head on over to bookwithtim.com. Until next time, wishing you success and freedom in your business. Cheers.